Okay, so I'm gonna come at you guys. This is gonna be a new series I'm starting on my channel, and it's gonna be called A Glimpse in My Head. Basically, this is gonna be, I wanna get a conversation started about things that not many people my age wanna talk about, such as growing up and going through high school. <laughs> Seeing all the separate changes you're going through in life, marriage, children. I want to be real. I, I don't want to sugarcoat it. Now I'm not always going to come at you with a full face of makeup on. I may come at you guys with sitting in my car, no makeup on, no hair done, real and raw. I may come to you crying, I may come to you with the most exciting news ever. And I want this to be a series on my channel where I can be open, I can be honest, I can, I can if talk. If I have a bad day, a full face of makeup while having these talk. I may just sit here in my no, car. I want people to see what it's like to be a 21 year old living on their own trying to make it in this life with going through college, trying to get your degree, being married, trying to find a new place to live. Everything at once is happening and I wanna take you on our journey with us. And I wanna keep this conversation I going. I want people my age, younger, older, everybody. I want everybody to be included in this. So let's keep the conversation going, take a glimpse inside my head and see what's going on. Yay, we hit record. So it's like, what is it? 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, I felt like filming because I felt like talking. There's something I've noticed. For those who don't know, I am 21. Ergo, I'm a young 20 year old? Yeah, I'm a young adult. So like I was saying, there's something I've noticed going through your early to mid so I got considered married young. I wouldn't consider it young, but so there is something I've noticed and going through your kind of early 20s, if you haven't hit that yet, if you've gone through it, you kind of know what I'm going to say and it's married young, I have friends who have kids already, you know, and they're like, oh, when are you two going to have kids? By the way, this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish concealer um like you know when are you two gonna have kids and i was like well we're kind of stuck in a crappy apartment with shit jobs i know you know that's what you're kind of supposed to go through with your either you get married early and you're criticized you get married in your 30s you get criticized, you get... but for a different reason. Whose video is this? <laughs> like you say, you get married in your 30s, you get criticized. You get married in your 20s, you get criticized. Even by people you don't know. Like when we were planning our wedding, our wedding venue person was looking at us like, are you crazy? You're only in your 20s. Early 20s at that. But I had... All my friends at my bachelor party, well, most of them. And that's gonna, I'm gonna hit on that in a second. And then as soon as you're married, it's, what are your plans? Are you gonna have kids? When are you gonna have kids? Are you pregnant? You'd be surprised how much I get that at work. I call out a single day, the pregnancy rumors start flying. It's like, what? What if I just don't feel good? I'm not pregnant, everybody. It's kind of hard to do eyebrows and talk. And he's just watching my process because he normally never watches. He's usually playing video games while I'm doing my makeup. I stay out of the way. Or if I'm filming something. Which is fine. I don't care. So... We got married back in April. 
and you know we had most friends and family who could make it. The thing I learned while you're trying to like make your like especially trying to make like my bridesmaid list I had more bridesmaids than he had groomsmen. So while we were trying to make my bridesmaids list I had everybody that I wanted and we got I'm basically gonna tell you how I did it and we got everybody together plus a couple extras boys um I was gonna ask him but I don't think they'd want to wear a mint dress so anyway we got this like little I had this idea I saw it on Instagram I saw it on Instagram and I'm like oh my gosh that is perfect we're trying to get my bridesmaids together we're gonna make this box real quick and basically what it was was a box with there, a candle, gum, and a hand sanitizer in there because most of us work retail or restaurants. So you're going to use it. So we were all going to the mall. We had a group chat going. And I'm not going to say her name, but I know she's going to probably either see this on Facebook or she's going to see it on YouTube. Basically, I had a friend who we were conjoined at the hip from our junior throughout our senior year. A lot of shit happened together. Happened. Oh my god, I'm not gonna cry. Why are my eyes welling up? I blame the bright light behind me. <laughs> you know, high school graduation comes. We all kind of split. That's gonna happen. If you haven't graduated high school yet, be prepared. You and your friend group are pretty much gonna just split. Like, you're gonna feel... Like you have no friends anymore. That's how I felt. Was I lost all my friends. And you still get those feelings. I still get them to this day. We were going to ask the majority of my friends. We all were going to go meet at the mall. And I was going to give them all this little box. And it says, He's at, he asked, now I ask, be my bridesmaid. The maid of honor obviously had the maid of honor. Um, and we had this one box sitting in the car because we were like, oh, she could show up. She could not. You can't force somebody to stay in your life. And it sucks. It sucks losing somebody you promised would be at your wedding. You have no communication with them. And I think that's something that a lot of high schoolers who are, who are graduating or who are getting ready to graduate aren't prepared for it. You're like, oh, I'm going to university with them. We're going to stay best friends. No. That doesn't always happen. And you kind of get a glimpse of that throughout your high school career. Why did I say career? Career. But we're sticking with it. You get a glimpse of it. You fight. You don't talk. You get back together. Same thing. You know... Why am I speechless? Because you're realizing something I realized a couple years ago. I'm not going to cry, damn it. <laughs> that doesn't make her hurt any less. No, it doesn't, but... You kind of get to a point where... You don't talk to anybody. You... You figure out who the actual people are that want to stay in your life. You know, throughout high school and middle, even middle school, I was known as the creepy, weird, fat chick who was obsessed with a German band. You know? And then... You know, I went through my gothic, if you could call it a gothic phase, staying into like an alternative, or called alternative. I was, I dated a guy, he broke my heart, he cheated on me and broke my heart. At that time, what I thought was a broken heart. Um, you, you meet a guy who you think is your knight in shining armor because you had your heart broken. And he turned out to be a manipulative. If 
you go through that kind of a relationship, you really, really learn a lot about yourself in that. And uh, by that, I mean when he, when this person and I were together, I didn't know who I was without him. And that's a scary thought. <laughs> you have your entire life, essentially, to get your shit together. Nobody ever truly has it together. I don't care what they say. You don't, nobody truly has their shit together. To say dating that person didn't change me is such an understatement. We're good. Okay. You know, saying that that time in my life did not affect me in the long run would be such a pile of horseshit. You don't know. I mean, some people know who they're going to marry. And to you, good on you. I'm happy for you. And I'm happy for you if it works. But for the majority of people, you don't know. You know, I had no idea I was going to meet him. Not a clue in the world. I had no idea what company I was going to be working for. I just knew, okay, my first job fired me. Now what? Now our dog's barking. <laughs> Jam in my half of it. I never thought I'd meet anybody. So I got myself quite lucky for me to this one. And we never thought we'd adopt this annoying, lovable dog who is currently beating him up. <laughs> because she hears something outside. You know, you, you don't know what you're going to do. You don't know. And I think that's the mentality, at least, with a lot of people, especially with, like, a lot of kids who are coming out of high school, they're like, oh, I'm going to marry this person, I'm going to do this and this and this. If you actually do it, good for you. Good for you. I'm proud of you, and I'm happy for you. Count yourself as one of the lucky ones in that respect. Yeah. But if you don't, that boy breaks your heart three years down the line. It's okay. You'll get over it. I promise. And you will find somebody who is so worth it to these people. To one of them. Hope you're happy. That's all I gotta say to you. You know, you did you did so much. I could care less now. To my old best friend, I know you're in town. You know, if... I'm still here. You don't know how much I've missed you and wanted to see you and hang out with you now that we can actually legally drink together? <laughs> um, all in all, she misses you and would like to, you know, rekindle the flame. So if you guys that makes it sound stuff. like I'm cheating on you. I do miss you. I do. I know I work crap hours. I know. Believe me. Yeah, and you can meet this little furball of energy. Just a thought. Okay, so last thing I'm going to say. Anybody in my life who has stayed thus far, I love you. So to her, I still love you. Talk to me. Please. I need my sister back. One of them. I have too many sisters. You never have enough siblings. No, you can't. Especially if you're an only child, your best friends become your siblings. Um, I vouch for that. Yeah. I guess that's kind of it. I didn't mention any of the products I used. That'll be in the description down below if you want to know what I used. Um, she mentioned Wonder 2, but she got caught up in the more emotional side of this deal. 
Yeah, pretty much. You know, the vi subscribe down below if you want to. If you want to keep up with this series, that'd be awesome. If you want to share this series, because I ain't gonna force you. This is my outro! You are interrupting too. Here, do you want to be in the outro? Come here. Probably not. Come here. Okay, so Piper wants to join me for the outro. Um, so yeah, there is the subscribe button. Subscribe, not subscribe. Subscribe button down below if you choose to hit it. Um, that'd be awesome. You could catch up with my videos. Um, we'll keep up with the series because I kind of like doing this. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.